So uh, a, a warm re-welcome uh, to Maya. Thank you. Great to be back. Okay. Um, so, thank you so much for this opportunity uh, to share with you uh, some further insights uh, related to climate and other sustainability work uh, with case examples from METSA Group. As, as Matt uh, very and in an excellent way demonstrated in, in his presentation, the message of the scientist is clear. If we want to avoid the climate breakdown, we need to cut the amount of global greenhouse gas emissions into half by the end of this decade. And it goes without saying that it's not enough to focus only on climate. Uh, Dr. Uh, Rockström, a Swedish scientist, together with his colleagues, uh, has uh, created a model of nine planetary boundaries, which includes key environmental uh, topics that the humanity should take better into account, uh, actually um, should adapt actions and, and life accordingly. And uh, the nine planetary boundaries include climate change, biodiversity loss, phosphorus cycle, water systems, uh, etc. It is of interest to note that one of the key environmental topics in the model is uh, chemical pollution and release of novel entities. Uh, this includes also plastics pollution. And as can be seen from the figure, uh, the novel entities is far beyond the, the safe operating space. Um, this is not surprising. Um, if we think about this fact, that currently the mass of all plastics on Earth is double the mass of all animals on Earth. In my work, uh, I also follow some policy files, for example, the packaging and packaging waste regulation that has been uh, referred to in, by some previous uh, presenters as well. And I've been wondering that if all the proposals that that Commission is making of, of these binding reuse targets will be adopted, how much more plastic packaging will be placed on the market? Um, at METSA Group, we are committed to contributing to sustainable development. Our parent company, METSALITO Cooperative, is owned by over 90,000 Finnish forest owners. We have five different business groups and, and one um, um, innovation company, Metsa Spring, which, for example, invests in startups and, and carries out own uh, demo and pilot processes. Actually, two times in a row, uh, Metsa Group has been selected to be uh, the, the most startup friendly company in Finland. Uh, our units uh, they form a unified group with synergies. Uh, and METSA Group actually incorporates inside uh, the same umbrella a large part of the wood value chain. Uh, METSA Forest takes care of our wood uh, procurement and offers forest management services to forest owners. METSA Wood produces wooden construction elements and other mechanical wood products. METSA Fiber operates our bioproduct mills and sawmills. Uh, METSA Tissue focuses on tissue papers and grease roof papers. And, and METSA Board, which probably most of you are familiar with, produces um, fresh fiber paper boards, for example, white craft liners and, and folding box boards. Altogether, we are over 9,000 people working at, at METSA Group in 30 different countries, though all our production is based in Europe. Uh, at METSA Group, sustainability is everybody's business. Each and every one of us has at least one annual personal bonus target, which is related to sustainability. In all our operations, we aim to follow 
the three principles of circular economy, meaning keeping the materials and products in use as long as possible, minimizing waste and pollution, and regenerating nature. It has been estimated uh, that circular economy has the power to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions by almost 40%. Uh, the basis of all our business is in sustainably managed northern forests, where our wood raw material originates from. In sustainable forestry, always more wood grows than is harvested, and biodiversity is safeguarded. We always know the origin of our wood raw material, and large part of the wood we utilize is certified. When refining the wood raw material, attention is paid that all different parts of the wood are used smartly and that resource efficiency and, and um, environmental performance are on high level. Um, the design of novel uh, biomaterial solutions is increasingly carried out together with clients to, to optimize uh, fit for purpose and sustainability, and also circularity, so that in the end of their life, the products can be either recycled or reused. The beauty of circular economy is that it goes much beyond recycling. Actually, it goes beyond uh, optimizing energy and material streams. In an ideal circular economy, we would have optimized flows of materials, energy, but also value and data in parallel. And increasingly, at Metsa Group, uh, we are uh, focusing on value creation in networks and in value adding with data and services. Uh, we are also carrying or having projects how to better quantify uh, the nature and carbon benefits of our products and, and value chains. Sustainable development requires investments. Uh, for example, Metsa Group uh, has invested in, in modernization of its Husum pulp mill in Sweden. And in Kemi, Northern Finland, work is underway uh, uh, to, to construct and under, underway to construct a novel bioproduct mill operated by Metsa Fiber and on um, improving an existing uh, mill uh, owned by Metsa Board which produces white craft liners. The latter is an investment project of 67 million euros and it will result in increased production capacity, but also in improved water efficiency and improved energy efficiency. Uh, at Metsa Group, our target is that by 2030, all our mills would be fossil free. So on other sites as well, we have a development project ongoing. To achieve this target, uh, we have created roadmaps uh, that actually have very specific technical details, mill by mill, and, and, and plans how we can achieve this fossil-free target. Last November, Metsa Board published its um, roadmaps related to uh, climate targets and also related to, to uh, water efficiency targets on its websites. So all interested stakeholders can go on Metsa Board's uh, website and have a look at the roadmaps and also follow the proceedings. Um, the target of fossil free mills means that by 2030 uh, our mills don't utilize any fossil fuels, nor purchase fossil energy, nor uh, fossil raw materials. And for example, the modernization of the Husum pulp mill contributes to achieving this fossil meat target. Because as you can see here, uh, the, the modernization of the pulp mill uh, has, has resulted in reduced use of fossil oil. And all these reductions in using fossils 
can naturally be seen also in the life cycle analysis of products. Um, in developing a more circular and sustainable society, industrial partnerships and ecosystems play a crucial role. Since uh, 2017, Metsä Group has been operating in Äänekoski, uh, a bioproduct mill which is based on an ecosystem concept. It means that the, the main product in the Äänekoski mill is pulp, but additionally, uh, many of the side streams are uh, upgraded by partners into other valuable bioproducts. I'm a chemist by my background, so one of my real favorite examples of circular chemistry is that in this Äänekoski mill, even the odorous gases, meaning the emissions, they are not only captured, but they are utilized as raw material for making sulfuric acid. And this means then that the, 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 the site doesn't have to buy uh, sulfuric acid from, from outer sources, so it means uh, CO2 savings in, in, in uh, transportation. And, and at the moment, uh, we are building a similar uh, bioproduct mill with a similar concept in Kemi, in the northern Finland, and it's actually the largest investment ever made in Finland by forest industry. Uh, the Äänekoski site uses zero fossil energy. Actually, it produces more renewable energy than it utilizes, and the extra energy is fed in the national grid. And when the Kemi mill starts, will start its operation uh, by the end of this year, uh, the case will be the same there. Um, we really, our perception is that it's really the value of collaboration that brings real transformation. And, and we want to promote collaboration on our production sites, but also all along the value chain. In Äänekoski, Metsä Board is operating excellence center, uh, where it invites its customers for workshops. And in these workshops, customers can, together with Metsä Board's um, sustainability people, designers, R&D people, design circular and sustainable packaging. And in Äänekoski Center, uh, there are very, very nice high-tech virtual simulation tools in place, actually made by Dassault. And Dassault also makes simulation technologies for aircraft industry. To promote um, sustainable design and circular design, uh, Metsä Board has organized three times uh, design challenge competition, Better With Less. And, and the winners of the challenge 2022-2023 were announced in, in January. And this time, two submissions shared the first place. Both of the winners that shared the first place are based on, on corrugated board. Uh, the other one is kids' headphones packaging. It's a monomaterial solution and also contains a reuse aspect as the inner part can be utilized in, in storing the headphones. And, and the other winner is um, cardboard protecting filler. It's also a monomaterial solution used for prote protecting, for example, electronics in, in transportation. So really, uh, design matters and, and with, uh, with circular and sustainable design, huge innovations and, and, and sustainability benefits can be gained. Uh, when thinking of sustainability, it is a journey and, and one of its um, uh, guiding principles is uh, sustainable, uh, one of its guiding principles is continuous improvement. Just recently, uh, we updated our strategic 2030 targets. And increasingly, we are actually combining sustainability in the core of our business strategy. And, and we are aiming to, to um, promote and create regenerative value. Regenerative value uh, includes the aspects of economical value and environmental value, but also the aspects of systemic value and social value. 
An example of systemic value could be that if you have a good fit for purpose packaging, you could reduce the product waste. In the field of sustainability science, an emerging concept is sufficiency. Sufficiency means make do with less and prioritize needs over wants. Actually, the concept of sufficiency brings us back to the origins of the concept of sustainable development. As, as the famous Brundtland's Commission uh, stated that sustainability means meeting the needs of the present uh, without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. And, and this is something we work uh, every day at that METSA group. Thank you so much for your attention and I'm really looking forward to your questions and comments if we don't have time now, then during the breaks. Thank you so much.